Life, living a fiercely empowered, take 517. Today's topic, defeat, not an option. I'm excited to be going into a webinar to set my intentions for 2017 with my fabulous publicist, branding coach, Kai Cole. But before heading into that webinar, I wanted to share with you uh, a quote from my spiritual workout this morning with my spiritual father. Had a wonderful dinner, a sleepover, and got up this morning at five o'clock to chant two hours to stay connected to the universe and to continue tapping into our limited potential. <coughs> For today and tomorrow, daily encouragement, Dysad Kata. Quote, no matter what the circumstances, you should never concede defeat. Never conclude that you've reached a dead end, that everything is finished. You possess a glorious future. And precisely because of that, you must persevere and study. Life is eternal. We need to focus on the two existences of the present and the future and not get caught up in the past. We must always have the spirit to begin anew from this moment to initiate a new struggle each day. Whether we're a student or not, folks, we must always study and learn anew. Uh, as a Buddhist, we study the writings of Nietzsche and Daishonin so that we can apply those fabulous, timeless principles into our winning life today. Each morning on uh, my altar, I fill my water bowl to symbolize a fresh new beginning, leaving whatever yesterday brought in the past. Each day is a new beginning, a new blossom. And I leave you with uh, lovely words from a book entitled From Because of You, Celebrating the Difference You Make by Dan Zandra and Katie Lambert. These are the words of Richard Bark, American writer of Jonathan Livingston's Seagull and Illusions. Quote, a great life is a sum total of the worthwhile things you've been doing one by one. Those who pluck a flower here and there soon have a bouquet. Life, living it fiercely empowered. And happy holidays. I'm so excited for the new year, and I hope you are too.